Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today, we're going to talk about FileCloud. FileCloud is a cloud-based file sharing service similar to something like Dropbox. It allows you to access, upload, host, and uh, synchronize files across multiple devices. And thanks to Linode's one-click app marketplace, setting up FileCloud couldn't be easier. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a Linode account. If you don't have one, there's going to be a link in the description with some free credit to get you started. But once you have your account set up and you've logged into the, the cloud dashboard, let's go over here to our name and we're going to click on that. And we're going to select API tokens. We're going to click create a personal access token. We're going to give it a name, uh, file cloud domain management. And then we're going to uh, give it read write capability and hit create token. We're going to copy this to our clipboard. We're going to use this in our next step here. So once we've copied it to our clipboard, we're going to hit OK. And now we're not going to be able to recover that. Um, so if we need, if we like accidentally copy something else to our clipboard and overwrite that, we'll just have to create a new token. Uh, but now let's go over here to the marketplace. And we're going to select uh, File Cloud here. And let's scroll down. Now this very, the very first uh, question it asks us, what's your uh, API token? We're going to paste that right in there. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is set up our subdomain. So www and the domain name for the Linode. Uh, let's set it up as Linodians.net. Now this is going to be uh, the domain name that you're going to use, obviously. So we're using Linodians.net in this example. Uh, it asks us if we would like a free CertBot SSL certificate. Uh, absolutely. There are very few reasons to not enable SSL. Uh, let's see. We're going to do email address for uh, Let's Encrypt certificate. The limited pseudo user to be created uh, for the Linode. Let's say uh, we're just going to do G Bryant because that's my name. And let's provide a password. Uh, I don't have an SSH key, so uh, we'll skip that. Disable root access over SSH. I will say yes here. Let's scroll down and uh, pick Debian 9 uh, for our image. Select a region. You'll want to select somewhere that's close to you uh, physically. So now we have to choose our Linode plan. Uh, the Linode documentation for FileCloud doesn't actually say what we should use here. However, the FileCloud uh, documentation does say that we should use a 4 a core or a quad core CPU. So we're going to select the Linode 8 gigabyte here and we're going to scroll down and enter a root password here. Um, this is for logging in. Although we did disable uh, root logins over SSH, you can still use this password to log in via uh, the Lish console. Um, so now we're going to hit create and it will take a moment to provision the Linode and set up the file cloud server. Uh, on the Linode. Uh, so we'll give it a few minutes and we'll be back in just a second. So it looks like it's done. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new tab and we're going to type in www.linodians.net slash admin. And you're obviously going to use your subdomain and domain name here uh, in your configuration. And we're going to use the default username and password. So admin and password. We'll hit enter. And there we go. We have logged in here. Thanks for selecting FileCloud, the most powerful enterprise file sharing and sync solution. If you need assistance or would like to request a product demo, uh, we're here to help. So the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see a bunch of um, you see a bunch of errors here. We can ignore those. I think you can just click these off the screen. Yep. The first thing that we want to do is go down to settings and then we're going to go over to admin. We have a reset admin password here. We're going to click this button. We're going to change the current password. So the current password is password and we're going to do a new password here. We're going to hit reset and we'll be logged out now and we're going to log back in. So admin and then we're going to use the password we just set and hit enter. And now it's asking us to, to, uh, to install a license. So there'll be a link in the description uh, uh, where to get uh, the license from. Uh, we can go ahead and create a user account here. We're going to register for a free trial. 
So they have probably sent an email now where they've sent a, a username and a password. The username is going to be the email address you set up and the password is going to be the pass a password that they've randomly generated for you. We're going to click sign in. So now we can download the trial license file and we'll just save that here. And we'll go back to our file cloud and browse our downloads folder for license.xml. And we'll hit apply. License has been updated. So now we have a trial version of file cloud running on here. And you know, if you feel like you want to, or you already have upgraded to a full file cloud account, um, or have a full file cloud license, you can uh, instead of, you can load that in instead of uh, the trial version. So now the next thing that we want to do is actually create a user account. We're going to add a user here. Access level full. Let's just say G Bryant. All right, and now we should be able to switch over here and actually log in. And now we're logged in in our file cloud uh, and we should be able to just create files, upload them, use this just like a Dropbox uh, install, but self-hosted. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the kind of content that we're producing here. Uh, if you do, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the awesome stuff we're doing on the channel. Um, but like I said, that's going to do it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.